Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today on the Tackle Tactics Animated Knot Series, we're tying a knot that at first glance can appear quite complicated. However, once you've practiced and tied this knot a few times, you'll find it is actually quite quick and simple to tie. Not only that, it allows you to create a double in your line that maintains virtually 100% of the breaking strain. So it's a popular knot worldwide for game fishing and sports fishing so that people can maintain that breaking strain of their line, especially when fishing for line class records and those sorts of things. So this is the plat or the platted double or the Aussie plat. It comes under a variety of names, but it's an excellent knot, a beautiful, compact, smooth knot that runs through guides in that very, very easily. Let's check out how to tie it. We commence our platted double by creating a loop in the line then wrapping the tag end under the main line and laying it in the center of the loop. This creates the three strands that will be plaited. We begin the plait by picking up the lower strand and laying it over the central strand, essentially swapping their position. Now pick up the top strand and lay it over the central one. The plait is created by continuing to alternately lay the lower and upper strand over the central one. Continue plaiting the three strands in this pattern. As you continue, ensure that the strands are plaiting neatly and tightly together. We now continue to complete our plaits. It is recommended to have more plaits in lighter breaking strain lines. You may have an inch to an inch and a half in length in lighter breaking strains with two to three inches or more in heavier breaking strain lines. It is extremely important to ensure that the plait ends with the tag end passing over the top strand into the center. We now take the tag end and create a smaller loop by laying it over the bottom strand. Pinch the end of the existing plait to keep it secure and pass the upper strand over the smaller loop. You will now be creating four to five more plaits but using the new smaller loop as the third strand. Begin by passing the loop strand over the upper strand. Continue this pattern to create four to five more plaits, ensuring it ends with the loop strand at the bottom. You can now bring the larger loop back over and through the smaller loop. The knot is now ready to begin tightening. Moisten the line, supporting the plaits and pulling on the tag end of the line. Slowly tighten the knot, which will pull the tag end through while closing the smaller loop and bedding down the plaits. You can now trim the tag end neatly and your plaited double is ready to fish. So there you go folks, that is the plaited double. So a knot that at first glance, as we said, can be quite look quite tricky to tie, but once you've tied it a few times, a little bit of practice, and you'll be knocking this knot out quick and easy for any of those sport or game fishing applications when you're looking to maintain as close as possible to 100% of the breaking strain of the line. So there you go, tie a few, get out there and get stuck into some fish. Cheers.